the rich will become richer, the poor will become poorer, and the middle class will get wiped out. And the reason why is because some people, rich people will understand money and they will continue teaching their kids. And everybody else, the majority of people who have no idea what's happening will continue to become poorer because they don't even see it happening. The first step to getting wealthy is having the proper mindset. Some people have the terrible thinking that becoming wealthy is out of their reach. The rich have completely different attitude towards money, which set them apart from those who struggle with money. Why does it seem that the rich get richer over time while the poor stay in the same place? Why do the wealthy continue to acquire wealth over time while the poor remain or even get poorer? When and if they do get a substantial amount of money, they quickly buy a new television or go on a holiday. If basic needs are taken into consideration, rich and poor individuals have quite different perspectives on money. Let's explore why the wealthy always seem to excel and why the improvised middle class can never rise above mediocrity. The rich gain knowledge about money. People who live in poverty do so because they lack the motivation to learn about money and how to use it to enhance their lives. They are frequently scared by money and are afraid to fail. Yet almost everyone has access to financial literacy, reading material on the internet and on YouTube. However, some individuals choose not to take advantage of it. I don't care about money is a popular expression of the poor. Well. Whether people are aware of it or not, money affects many aspects of our lives, including where we live, what we do during the day, what we do for pleasure, where we go on vacation, what we eat and how well we are able to maintain our health. Just imagine for a moment how different your life would be if you had unlimited amount of money. So it's important to understand how to use it to better your life. The rich use debt to their advantage. Most people believe that having debt is bad since it costs money each month and is frequently used poorly. It's a simple technique to buy stuff which you actually can't afford. All you need to do is sign on the dotted line and take delivery of a brand new car right now. It should be obvious that if you can't afford to pay cash for an item, it is obviously out of your price range. Poor people believe that always costs them money and credit is a method for them to rapidly receive what they want without having to work for it at first. On the other hand, wealthy people take advantage of debt by buying assets that generate income which will increase their wealth. Instead of paying cash for a new car, they may take out a low interest loan so that they can use the money to expand their business, make an investment or start a new source of income. Another example would be using a mortgage to purchase a rental property that will generate revenue over a long period of time. Rich people are smart with debt and only use it to purchase items that they can actually afford or that would make them money. The rich make investing a priority. Poor people remain poor because they do not take the essential actions to develop wealth. They create excuses and declare that they will never be successful for a number of reasons. Everyone has the capacity to become wealthy and those who claim they cannot are usually terrified of failing or unwilling to put out the necessary work. Rich people make sacrifices and value investment over spending. If they want to make a purchase like a new car, they will figure out a way to passively create money that will cover the cost of the car before they actually buy it. To put it in another way, rather than being forced to work more, they will purchase or develop income generating assets that will pay for the thing. Stocks, real estate or just more revenue from a business are all possible ways to increase your income. It takes a little longer to be able to make purchases this way but having this costs covered by passive income in the long run is worth it. Poor people purchase the car and then struggle to make the payments and after 5 or 10 years they are in the same financial situation as they were before. The rich focus on long term profits. Poor people frequently do not want to bother investing. It can take months or years before a return on the investment is achieved and for many it is simply too long. They have short term thinking and would rather spend their money and enjoy it now. Rich people make long term plans and are aware of high possibility of receiving a good return on their investments. Although no one likes to wait years before spending money, good investments offer exponential returns. Delaying the purchase of a $40,000 car and investing the money later will allow you to use that money money to purchase a $400,000 car if you want so, because it will have grown to a much greater number. Balance is essential in life, just like anything else. You want to be able to spend some money right now, but also want to save money and let it grow for the future. The rich can make money for decades by having a long term perspective, whereas the poor couldn't care less about the years to come. The rich create multiple sources of income. 
Most people who live in poverty only have one source of income and are unaware that they must focus on generating multiple streams of income in order to succeed. They most likely have only one source of active income and that is their job. The money stops coming in if they become sick or decide to take a holiday. The only thing they were taught in school was how to get a good job that would pay their bills. They were never taught how to build multiple sources of income that would pay you in different ways. When wealthy people are not working or are taking a few weeks off from their job, they typically have several sources of income and money flows to them in many different ways. How do they earn money in ways other than their job? They may earn additional money from their side businesses, royalties from books, music or podcasts, rental income from real estate or stock dividends. The rich always search for opportunities. The wealthy are constantly on the hunt for another method for them to generate more money and they understand that an opportunity may occur at any moment so they are always ready to jump. When the stock market crashes, the rich grab the opportunity and generally profit greatly by acquiring stocks at a great discount. This is totally opposite to the poor middle class families. Middle class individuals are scared away from such chances and may even sell their stocks to the rich at a very cheap price if they possess stocks at all. The wealthy people grab the opportunities when they see them. The rich are committed to success. The lower and the middle classes are satisfied where they are, at least to the extent that they are unwilling to take any steps to change their situation. While the wealthy people work longer hours learning and developing, they don't waste their time watching TV and spending countless hours on, on social media. Of course, the poor want to be wealthy because it seems fantastic from the outside, but they decide it's not worth the time and effort when they learn how much work it takes to achieve. Because they are aware that everyone who has had great success has probably failed several times. Wealthy people are dedicated to succeeding and will do almost everything it takes to accomplish so. The motivation behind rich people's hard efforts to obtain money is their understanding of the importance of money and how it can enhance their lives. Being poor is difficult, so is being wealthy. So it is up to you which one you'd like to choose. Keep in mind what the wealthy do in order to succeed yourself. If you follow their example, you'll eventually get wealthy while others keep going along the present path of being poorer.